happy day everyone and I, I say day because I have no idea when this is actually going to get up on the blog so you can see it but uh, we got some props today and the, the last prop um, that I had was a, a big bobcat so and if you haven't seen that video you gotta go check it out that was fun um, I couldn't get it started but but it was fun um, uh, today's props are a little bit smaller I got an iPhone and I got a couple cards from the Apple store and where these come into play is it's something a little bit off the wall okay um, and what I want to talk about is actually customer experience today. And as, a, as an investor, customer experience is really your tenant's experience because, you know, a, a, as an investor, a real estate investor, you're really a business owner. Your business is your rental properties or your investment properties, and your customers are either your tenants or the people that purchase those properties from you as well are customers. So, so a couple of different ways to look at things. Here's what happened to me. I went into the Apple store. I'm right in the middle of looking for a new laptop. And um, you know I'm kind of waiting for this new Windows 7 to come out because I want to see if it's any good and see if it's worthwhile getting a, um, another PC or if I should get a Mac. And if if you have any tips to give me one way or the other, let me know. But if I think if you're if if you own a Mac, you've probably been converted and you're going to be an evangelist for Apple. So, um, but but I'm really on the fence. And, and and there's you know a lot of questions that have come up. So uh, mainly around a lot of different software applications. Oh, there goes the phone. Look, looks Tom. We'll just shut him off. But uh, so here, oh, we got the office phone going now too. We got lots of action going on. So here's what's going. Oh, don't worry, it's, it's good. I believe it. So here's here's what's going on. Um, uh, I don't even know where I was. So so yeah, I walk into the Apple Store because I have these questions because there's these you know a lot of applications that I use that may not be available on Apple. So I'm not really sure sure what to do. So I walk into this this great store. I get help from this guy that was willing to spend all the time in the world with me. He, he talked to me for about a half hour, explaining little features to me and everything, and, and it was great. And then I find out that for $99, they have a one-year program where you can make appointments with someone that will train you on a one-on-one -on -one basis on how to use your Mac and, and you know how to get the most benefits from it. Jackpot, $100 for that type of training, awesome stuff, right? So that's the first thing. Then, um, I, I, one other thing he said, is that he become, he goes, you know what happens when you uh, buy a Mac? You become part of the Apple culture, which is something Apple does so well. These Everything they have is sleek and kind of cool. And the iPhone is a great example of this. This thing's been out for what, two or three years? I'm not sure now, it's been a while. I think maybe it's two years? I, I don't even know, I'm getting old, that's what I know. But it's been out for a while, and what's happening is is this thing is still, it's still cutting edge, right? So this, this phone has changed everything and people are still trying to catch up to this thing even though it's old. In the technology, in today's technology world, to have something that's cutting edge for that long is really, really impressive, right? But it's not that, it's because it's cool, it's because it does other things. And what they've done is this, this little phone brings you into the Apple culture. This is the only reason that I'm looking at a Mac, right? The iPod is what revitalized Apple as a whole. So, so that's enough for that, those are lots of business lessons. But listen, so here's something else that happened. It's the environment that they presented with me, to, presented to me. Look at this. So they, they give me this little card, these cards after. Look, meet your business partner. So what I can do is I can set an appointment the next time I go back online and go, and someone's going to be waiting there for me to explain how the, how uh, a, a Mac laptop or, or a, an Apple laptop will benefit me and how it relates to businesses and in what business we do and the th type of things we do um, specifically, like like editing these videos, right? Or, you know, he gave me this card, let's shop together, you can get your personal shopper to meet you when you're there. Um, you, again, you go online, you book an appointment, there's gonna be a personal shopper waiting for you. And if you go into one of these Apple stores, you know why you need it, because they are rammed, they're packed, right? So you need these personal shoppers to be waiting for you, you're not gonna get anything done. And that's why I went yesterday, I went during the middle of the day thinking that no one was gonna be there, and it was still busy, but I was able to get some service. But what they're doing is they're creating an overall atmosphere in this store. They have greeters that ask you if you need what types of questions you have. If you need to be elevated to a second person for more technical questions, they will get that person for you. Then they have the Genius Bar, which I wrote about in an earlier blog post, probably uh, earlier this year. I think it was in, about, in March. The Genius Bar, which is you know people that will teach you how to use your products, and that's everything from an iPod to a new laptop. So you can bring it in, and they'll, they'll sit down with you and explain to you how to use these things. Now here's how this all circles back to your real estate investing. It's, it's what type of atmosphere or what type of culture are you providing in your investment properties, okay? And here's what I mean by this. Are you, when you're showing a property to tenants, are you, do you have maybe a little table and you're being very formal with them 
and you're putting, you know, you're sliding contracts back and forth, uh, forth across the table. You're presenting to, to them like it's a, a used car sales room, because we've seen that before. And you know what? That does no good. Okay, that will t that will scare people away. You want to be aware of the culture that you're providing in your investment properties because it makes a world of difference. Okay, and it's not just real estate investments; it's any business. I mean, there's a, a ton of this. This topic is ongoing, and we're going to talk about more of this in the future. But it's something to always be aware of. What if you've renovated a property? Some investors are buying properties; they're fixing them up; they're they're able to sell them. What type of things are you doing in that property to create that culture to give people a different type of feeling that, that sets yourself apart from other people? That's what you have to look at. Okay, um, a lot of these things are happening in custom homes right now are big on this is because um, one of the one of the gentlemen that works with us he is looking at um, do, building some custom homes and the way he's positioning it is more of like a rock star mansion approach. Okay, so it's it, it's about a lifestyle. It's not generally about the home. So there's little bits around um, the home that really do, um, you know, I'm not doing it justice, but that really change the the feeling of the home. So it's more about lifestyle. And I want to give you some some examples which would really explain that point. But it's not my thing. It's not my project. So I don't want to ruin it for him. Okay, but one day we'll get him on here talking to you about it. It's going to be really interesting. Um, but that's the big lesson, okay? Apple's done it, it's done it to me again. The first time I was in there with the Genius Bar, they did it. Now they have these personal shoppers waiting for me. Probably had it before. Um, and it's just, it's, it's just great stuff. And, and for anyone that's slowly getting into this, anyone that's got an iPod, anyone that's getting an iPhone or has an iPhone, anyone that's got a Mac, talk to those people. You will see that that culture that they create is really contagious. So the big idea here is how do you take that culture that, that, that lesson from what they're doing in, in the retail or IT world, and how do you bring that, that idea into your investments? Because that's what sets yourself a, a, a apart from the pack, and that's the type of thing that's gonna make you a successful investor, all right? And that's the type of thing that's gonna let you live your rock, your rock star life. And we have a big announcement that we're not going to share with you for a few more weeks, but there's a big, big thing coming up next year for anyone that wants to live their rock star life. So make sure you stay tuned to that. Until next time. Your life, your terms.